Sean here again. I have my second review for you guys today. My first review, if you remember, was uh, Angelman Sun Essence Summer Storm. And now we're doing another unique and great fragrance. It's going to be from the Creed house today since I just got some Creeds in. I know a lot of people are interested in Creed, so I'm going to talk about this. This is Creed's number one selling fragrance. It came out in 1985. I mean, it's been around 25 years. If you think about that, there's thousands of fragrances that have come out in 25 years. And this is still close to the top and of selling fragrances, and it's just Creed's number one seller. They've come out with new stuff, and they still it's just still sell a lot of this. So I think it's important to look at this and see, and at least give it a chance. So without further ado, we have Creed's Green Irish Tweed. And um, before we talk about it a little, I think we should look at the box and the bottle, because I think Creed does put a lot of attention to detail into their boxes and bottles. So let's look. We have, it says Green Irish Tweed right here. This is just some green suede right here, which is kind of cool. We have the big giant Creed just like crest logo right here, which is pretty cool. And I think it's cool that it says Creed with like their logo on the, the bottle, on the box, I mean. Um, just all over the box. I mean, if you look at the side, it's here just like embossed in the cardboard or whatever this box is made out of. Just like that. So there's the back of the box. We have the top of the box right there. We have the bottom, which has our lot number, which matches with you. you got to make sure it matches with your bottle. And uh, we have some French writing right here. And I think if we pop it up, you can see we have the... Greed has been around since 1760, guys. I mean, that's 250 years of making fragrances. So they kind of do know what they're doing. We have right here uh, James Creed. He's the founder of the Creed house back in 1760. And then we have uh, the sixth generation of Creed that's running the house right now. And that's Olivier Creed. And um, I think that's very unique that Creed is family owned and operated for the last 250 years. I know there's not a lot of businesses that are really like that. And I mean, that's kind of sad in today's world. That it's not like that a lot of companies sell out to major corporations. But I think that's unique and special that Creed is able to maintain for 250 years keep the business within the family and we know at least for a long period of time Creed's going to remain in the family because we know Erwin, Olivier's son, is going to take over the house uh, when, when uh, Olivier steps down or passes away. So um, yeah, so we know Creed will still remain in the family, maybe for another 50 years. So I mean, that's amazing. Three, You could have up to 300 years of a family owned and operated business, maybe who knows, maybe even longer, which is very cool, I think. So let's look at the bottle though. Here's the front of the bottle. You notice it's black. I think this bottle is very unique and just stand out in anyone's collection. No matter what you have, this bottle is just going to stick out there and just ask to be smelled by you, I think, or by others. So there's the front of the bottle, the bottom of the bottle right there. Here's the back where you find your serial number if you're trying to check on your creed to make sure it's authentic, whatever the serial number should be right, right down here near the bottom of the back of the bottle. Here's the cap. It has that creed crest logo and right in the cap right there stamped is a separate piece which is pretty cool you take off the cap it says Creed right here on the top and I know if you look I've looked um, when you look under the atomizer right here it should be white all the way down I'm not gonna take it off and show you but I'm just letting you know so um yeah let's talk about the notes in this fragrance so in the top notes we have lemon and verbena and I get these notes to last, you know, from two, two and a half hours. So, I mean, that's kind of a long time, I think, for an opening of a fragrance to last. In the middle notes, you get some iris and violet leaves. And you may be saying, Sean, those are kind of more floral fragrances. Is this going to turn into a floral fragrance? Absolutely not. This stays like that green, just the opening kind of runs through the middle notes. You still smell some green. And then in the base notes, we have some Mysore sandalwood and ambergris. Ambergris, I think, is in a lot of the Millicene Creed uh, fragrances. It's like that Creed DNA that we smell in like a lot of other creeds in the dry down and in the base notes of it it's just it's in all their fragrances by Olivier Creed I think it just gives it that Creed DNA that you just recognize it as a creed and uh, so what does it smell like I think that's what's most important I mean yeah the box and the bottle looks cool but what we care about most is what's inside the bottle right so it's really hard to describe what it smells like I think I think it's something you really just have to smell for yourself. I think it's worth uh, going testing it out at Neiman Marcus or Creed Boutique or, or buying a sample online for five bucks just to get an idea what this smells like. I think this is something that we all should at least give a chance and at least smell in our lifetime. So, but I mean, if I had to put a, my finger on what I think it smells like, I think it's just a very natural, green, fresh fragrance. I mean, I don't know if anyone's ever been camping, but it's just like if you wake up from camping and like the dew is falling on the ground in the early morning, this is my, might be like what you're smelling. Or if like it just rained the night before and you smell that rain and the trees and stuff. 
out in nature. I think this is just what you would smell. Just that very fresh green smell. And um, the longevity on this, I'm getting about seven to nine hours. I know I've only had it about two days, but I've had a sample I wore for about a week straight to get a feel for it. I wore this yesterday to just see what I'm getting out of the bottle. I get a little better longevity out of the bottle, maybe an extra hour or two. But besides that, the smell is pretty much the same. And um, I think it's a pretty good uh, lasting power and longevity for green fresh fragrance. I mean, not seven to nine hours. I mean, that's a pretty long time. I've gotten nine hours more like yesterday when it was a little more humid in the air. So if it's a little cooler, you might get a little less, which I think should be expected with any fragrance. And uh, it's a more modest scent. It's not going to project all the way out. I mean, you might smell it a little farther away in the beginning and the opening notes. But after that, it becomes kind of a more close to the skin fragrance, which I think is good because, I mean, you don't want people to just do You don't want to walk into a room and have people just smell, well, what, what's it, what is that? Like, I mean, you don't want to overpower people. So I think that's good. And so it's not going to offend anyone because it's not too overpowering. And I mean, I think that's kind of cool too, because I mean, when you meet someone, if you see someone and you want to talk to them, you want a reason to talk to them. So I mean, if you get like a little whiff of this and you get closer, you're going to get more. So it's making people come to you and want to talk to you. So I think that's kind of cool. The thing I like about this fragrance most is it's just an any time, any season, any time of day fragrance. You can wear this in the fall, winter, spring, summer. It's still going to work for you. And I mean, you can wear it for during the day when you're just chilling, going to class. You can wear it at night with a suit. I mean, it's just really a very universal fragrance. There's not a time I don't think this would not be appropriate. I think you can wear it any time of year any, for any occasion. So I think that's what makes it good and why I really like it a lot. And I think a lot of people do because it's just so unique and just so green and fresh and any time of year and pleasing. And now if I had to rate this, guys, I'd give this really just a 10 out of 10. It's just so unique. It does last on me about seven to nine hours, which I think is good. And it's just very fresh and green. And just everyone's going to like this, I think, guys. I know I really like it. And um, so if you want to pick up a bottle, I recommend getting it on FragranceNet. Some people have said, oh, you might get an old bottle on FragranceNet. They might have been sitting around a while. See, I don't think that's true. I go on more the other side where I say, I mean, these are uh, $250 retail a bottle. I mean, they're paying, I don't know what fragrance net's paying for them, but I mean, they can't afford to be stockpiling a lot of these up and hoping people buy them. And so I think they carry an amount that they think, I mean, the order amount that people they think people are going to buy them best, or based on past uh, purchase histories. And um, then they sell out. I mean, I've seen other creeds sold out that I wanted to buy, and then they've come back available now, but then they sell out again. So I think what they have, they're selling out of. And I've heard from some other people that have recently purchased creed from fragrance net. They're getting some fresh bottles that are smelling like uh, that green and just fresh dew smell that we're talking about I think so you're getting the right notes I mean it'd be good to have a sample to compare it to so uh, to make sure you're getting a fresh bottle but I mean I think you're gonna get a pretty fresh bottle from fragrance net they're only about 147 so that's about a hundred dollars under retail which I think a really good deal from fragrance net so I mean I'd recommend it buying it there but if you want to buy it somewhere else either buy it from Neiman Marcus or buy it from uh, Creed Boutique don't buy it from one of those little mall kiosks you might get a fake fragrance this is one of the most uh, knocked off fragrances in all the fragrance community so you should watch out for that but I recommend fragrance net is your number one choice or if you really don't trust fragrance and have issues with it then buy it at Creed Boutique or at Neiman Marcus for sure my last point is um, some people say this smells like cool water I also own cool water I've been an avid wearer of cool water probably since high school I mean I don't know who hasn't worn cool water and uh, I really I still enjoy cool water I mean I could just smell it it just has more of an aquatic smell to it I think it's, I mean, it has like a light green smell, I guess, but I think it's more just like a cool, watery smell. I mean, I think this is more of just like a summer fragrance, really. I don't really see you wearing this during the day. So, I mean, if I had to give this a rating, I'd give this about an 8.5 out of 10, or this is just a 10 out of 10, a pure masterpiece by Creed. I mean, if you can only afford this, then purchase this for now and wear this, because this is great, don't get me wrong. But if you want something that's just unique and amazing, buy Green Irish Tweed. It's going to be the best $150 you spend on a fragrance, for sure, and will just work great in your collection. My last part of my thing is we're going to review another creed next, so it's up to you. You guys can pick if you want me to review Millicene Imperial or Virgin Island Water. So you guys leave me comments below. Feel free to rate, comment, subscribe, and uh, pick which one of these two you want me to review next, and uh, have a good night.